Hello everyone. So I have uh, decided that uh, this year I will try to improve my YouTube video quality and the content overall a bit more better. In fact, not only really a bit more better, significantly better than what I was doing till last year. And uh, of course, you know, if I'm going to spend more time, I'm going to, of course, uh, you know, uh, I do have some expectations, I do have some plans and uh, of course I'm not really trying to uh, do everything in one go. I'm trying to, you know, you know, improve small things here and there. And one such improvement is uh, to use uh, my DSLR. So I use this, uh, this, this DSLR which is basically my uh, Canon 200D and I have decided to of course uh, <laughs> use it a bit more. Although I use it to take pictures mostly, but uh, it can take videos. And good thing about uh, Canon cameras uh, is that you can also use them as a webcam using, of course, uh, you know, they, their software. But I don't really have uh, Windows and I believe uh, the Canon software. I, I'm not really sure if it works on Linux. Maybe there is a way to do it, but I never really explored it. But I found out that there is a, uh, there's a, there, there is a very popular utility called G42. And using G422, you can actually use your DSLR, not just Canon, but I think a lot of different cameras. And uh, it works surpri surprisingly well, although I, I, I still have some issues which I need to figure out. But uh, I'll just ex you know, explain what I did so far so that, uh, you know, it might also help you. And what I will do is I will just, I'll simply bring in my list of commands. So basically, um, what I was doing, I was of course trying to first, uh, you know, install few few applications. So you need to install G42 2, which is of course the application, the utility. Then you also need to install V4L2, no, not V4L2, V4L utils and V4L2 loopback hyphen DKMS because uh, this is needed by Linux kernel headers, I guess. Uh, and uh, you need to basically install or make sure that uh, Linux hyphen headers is installed, which is already installed on my computer because I also had to set up uh, my Wi-Fi dongle. And uh, when you have uh, these things installed, and by the way, if you search online, you'll find the instructions. And that is it. So if everything works, if everything is great, then uh, you should be able to you know, start using your cam camera, your DSLR camera. And the way it works is you need, need to first make sure that you're able to detect it. So connect your camera to your uh, uh, so I, I have this, uh, you know, cable, which is basically the mini HDMI and uh, no, not HDMI, mini USB and USB cable. And uh, you can, you can basically check if your camera is detected or not by running this command. And then you can also take uh, images. Uh, so it can actually take an image and uh, you can also specify the file name if you want this image to be captured and uh, spec or, or maybe saved uh, to a specific location. And also uh, to use your uh, camera as uh, a, a, as a webcam, you first need to do a few things. So basically, you need to do something like a mod probe uh, v4l2 loop back, and that is it. You can also specify this exclusive underscore caps is equal to one, and max buffer is, is equal to two. But uh, even if you do mod probe uh, v4l2 loop back, it should work. Then you will basically get a dummy um, camera. And what you can do is you can always, you know, take a look at list devices and it will actually list something like this, like uh, in my case, it is video four. And then the final thing that you need to do is you need to use this command called uh, G422 hyphen hyphen STD out and then hyphen hyphen capture movie. And that is it. And you need to pipe it to FFmpeg. So FFmpeg can do some processing and it can uh, map it to basically your... Uh, exact uh, dummy camera which is in my case video 4 dev video 4 and then keep keep this command running it will of course you know it has to be done in the background you can always you know script it or maybe write uh, some service i guess which i still need to figure out and then uh, you will get one i mean if you go to your any let us say if you are uh, using google meet or zoom then you should be able to find uh, this dummy video camera with of course the feed coming in from your DSLR. So all this works 
it, it works it, all of this works surprisingly well but uh, i face some issues and i'm still trying to you know fix some bugs um and i'll probably you know share my update but do do give it a try it might work flawlessly in your case uh, or it might not but i think it is definitely worth trying uh, there are of course a lot of other solutions uh, I, i'm sure you know about cam link or you know those video cards that you can try that will take input from your camera the hdmi but uh, this method works and uh, it works over usb so i thought okay why not give it a try of course to be honest i'm not massively i mean my my logitech webcam which is uh, this uh, this camera which is basically a c920 it is actually a very very famous camera and it works fine uh, it it's it's of course not really dslr quality but it is I, i'm i'm happy with it because i just need to show my small screen and uh, uh, i i guess if i use a dslr then it will definitely improve the quality with some you know blurry background and why not we should try we should try to improve things all right that is it that is it for today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye